I chose the John Molson because I was really looking for a school that had strong ties to the local community, both in terms of their business ties, but also in a philanthropic sense. We're not your typical business school that uh, teaches the same old, same old. Uh, we're much more open and broad-minded uh, when it comes to approaching today's uh, challenges. The value that they place on community, giving back to the community, it's a shared value among the staff, the students, the faculty, and we're really provided a lot of opportunities to get involved. I've done three degrees, I've never been a very involved student and when I came here to do my MBA I really did want to get involved. Little did I know how involved I would get. There's a contagious spirit that runs through the hallways of the, the John Molson building. It's a diverse class. We have more than half of our students are out of Canada, so it gives a lot of opportunities to share our experience. We're very much empowered to make changes and in the two years that I've been here I've had an opportunity to start many programs and to see them grow and to see the positive benefits. I saw case competition as a great way to apply business skills and apply critical thinking. I've competed personally in 12 different competitions. The case comp experience I got to travel to Spain, Hong Kong, uh, New Zealand. It's about taking what you learn in the classroom, applying it to the real world, because you have live cases with real companies facing real problems, so you really get that hands-on feel of what it's like to be in the business world and solve real issues that are out there. I think it could have been a terrible experience, but it turned out to be the best because I put myself outside my comfort zone. I have a job now because of it. I've had so many great opportunities and met so many people because of it. It literally changed my life. One of the goals I had for myself was to try and do an internship outside of my uh, area of expertise. I did a four-month internship at a small real estate consulting and development firm. I found myself able to apply some of the skills I had already learned into a different work environment. I also did three different internships. I did one at Pratt & Whitney Canada and I did two others at PwC. So it really helped me to see specifically what I wanted to do when I graduate. A large part of why I love coming to school is the faculty here. I've never had a teacher once tell me no. It's always yes, how can I help you? On a un groupe d'étudiants très très impliqués dans la société et professeurs aussi. That mix of professors, some who are more academic and research focused and some who are working in the field, provides you with so many different perspectives that really do prepare you. Topics that, you know, are really hotly debated in society right now, we bring those into the classroom and we try to equip students with the tools to face these problems once they get out. It's pretty simple. There's been a real big push on research, on publishing, taking academics, uh, primarily scholarship, to really a, a higher level. The building itself is LEED certified. We have uh, specific courses, specific professors who have really uh, expertise in sustainability. So we have courses, we have research, and we have these projects in the community. I guess we must be doing something right. <laughs> Five days for the homeland. The John Molson School of Business is very much part of the community. I like the way Concordia contributes to the vibrancy of, of the city. It's a hands-on institution. My experience at Concordia has been something that just has no words. I've honestly met so many people that have changed my life. The John Wilson definitely met, if not surpassed, all of my expectations. It really is a great community, a great support system, a great network with tons of opportunities, and it's located right in the heart of downtown Montreal. It's a way to learn new skills, apply them, and leave the school with a level of confidence that I never had before.